old cars, juniors, eh? And it looks like they're putting another bloody service station up and they're putting where uh, a service station on the other side. And it's like, what the fuck? How many service stations do we need? But anyway, <laughs> it just seems weird, man. Let's put fucking 25 servos in one place. That's a good idea. I'll stop whinging about it. Fucking more than Woody. Carry on. Talking shit again. As you can see, it is pretty gloomy today. The weather is a bit shit. Got to do something on a Sunday. I would have just sat at home. I've done all my detailing. I detailed this bike yesterday. Um, got to do something today. I would just sit around and do housework. Who wants to do that? But, uh, <laughs> I've got housework to do too, vacuuming and shit. Dishes are done. We've got so much work to do on the house. The backyard pool area, the, the, all the pavers need to be ripped up and redone because um, when I had the pool done, I had to get the drains done as well to go around the pool because the pool was dug right through the, the sewer. So they had to relocate that, so once I've dug all the soil up and put it back down, it, it eventually sinks down and now all the pavers have dropped. But it's, luckily it's only in one area. But knowing me and knowing my fucking OCD, I'll probably end up doing the whole lot again. One section at a time, because that's what I do. I like to do one bit and go, okay, well that bit's done, but now the other bit looks shit, so I better do that as well. And before you know it, there's three or four weekends spent doing that. I've got a time with laundry. Been putting it off for like over 18 months. The toilet needs attention, that needs tiling and needs a new loo and so why am I out riding and not doing that? Because I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I'm fucking really don't want to do it, but I will do it. Probably when it's pissing down with rain, weekend after weekend, that's when I'll do it. son take my HQ premiere out last night um, and I think he's in love with it. I don't think the smile will come off his face for weeks to come and it's good because he, he's had a bit of a rough year last year he um, hurt his foot at work and um, basically found out the other week that he actually had broken and ripped some bone off the uh, ligaments. Uh, the stupid dicks didn't fucking relieve him when he said the pain was just unbearable. So he's gone through all this time saying, oh, it should heal up itself, and it hasn't been. He's been for this, he's been for that. And finally gets told, oh, yeah, there was something wrong. Sorry, but we can't operate now because it's already started healing. It's like, yeah. Isn't that such a familiar story, though? Thank you for doing 55 in a 60 zone. <laughs> Parkins. You usually get told off by the sign. Slow down!
I have got a, a huge uh, fan out there. <laughs> One fan that really likes my videos and wants to get a bite one day and join us on our adventures. <laughs> hey Jacob, that's great mate, I'm, I'm glad somebody is getting some enjoyment out of my stuff because, you know, at the end of the day, if it inspires someone to do something that they enjoy, then I'm all for that. I mean, to, depression's my inspiration for doing it. Um, I haven't been diagnosed with depression, but I reckon I have been in depressive states before and um, you feel yourself getting, you can feel, you can feel the walls coming in, I think that's what it is. Um, you feel like you just can't be bothered doing anything, you know, your, your mood changes, you don't eat, you don't look after yourself, you can't sleep. Um, I am fortunate enough to have a sort of character personality where I can sort of bring myself out of it using different things and one of the only things I enjoy was riding my motorbike and um, I just stumbled across a, a video of somebody doing vlogs and um, I thought oh there's an idea um, whether it ends up being something I do or not, maybe I should just do that and um, me being the introvert I am, I'm not the sort of person to go out and talk and put myself out there, I've always been a hider in the background sort of person um, and obviously I've learnt to uh, adapt to certain situations that require you to be sort of a spokesperson if, that, if you like um, mainly my job, I, I repair appliances, so you're always in people's houses, you, you're always talking to new people every day, and you kind of got to get over that shyness and that fear, social anxiety that I do have, and um, so, you know, I am sort of a little bit worried about what people might think of my videos, I, I know I say I don't give a shit, but I, I, I do. It's just part of the depression, I think. It's, uh, like I said, I haven't seen really a doctor about it because I don't want to go down that road. I want to I wanna do it myself. And so far, I'm keeping my head above water. And doing these vlogs, it's not only keeping my head above water, but it's, it's giving me something to really enjoy and look forward to doing. So, to me, that's better than any antidepressant you could ever fucking get from a doctor. You just gotta find some way of trying to do something you enjoy and fucking don't let no one stop you. And the beauty of this hobby that I've got is the fact that I don't need other people in it to, to enjoy it. And I've done quite a few vlogs by myself. It's good, but I get people are always busy. I like, can't always get friends to come out with you. So I'm not the kind I'm not needy. I don't need that. If someone says I'll go for a ride on the weekend, I'll yeah cool, I'll come. Sure. Just expect me to bring my cameras, eh? You might be getting sick of that, but at the moment I've only got like 38 people watching my videos, so you know <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do it because I enjoy doing it. Yeah. And if you're if you're the kind of person that's suffering from depression, then throw us a like. I don't care if you subscribe, you don't have to. I'm not really fussed, but maybe you'll get something out of it. Maybe you'll enjoy watching it. Maybe it'll inspire you to do something that you like doing um, and videotape it. You know? It's scary putting yourself out there. It's, it's, you're putting yourself out there for the whole world to see if, if they're interested. Especially motorcycle videos. People like motorcycle videos. I'm hoping I get a few more people interested. I get a lot more people doing vlogs um, and you know it's, it's about keeping it your own, keeping it unique to yourself. Some people are like, hey, you do that same stuff all the time. Feel a bit sheepish. Yeah, I do the same stuff all the time because I enjoy it. Um,
<laughs> Be compelled. All I'm saying is, um, if, if, you, if you genuinely enjoy the sort of content of driving down roads and you know, it's, I try to mix it up, I try to make it a bit cinematic by putting you know some slow mo in and some sped up stuff and a bit of music and it makes a video. Uh, it's always the point that if your yeah, video is becoming a bit less to talk about, you can just fill it in with music. Um, you don't need to talk the whole way, people get sick of hearing your voice too. I know I do, I cringe every time I hear myself on the phone. I watch a lot of motor vlogs, I watch, there's another guy I watch, um, Dan, Dan the Fireman, in, in America, he does a vlog on, he's, he's a fireman himself, but he does a lot of safety stuff, and motorcycle safety videos, and tips and pointers, and I, I, I get a lot of, I get a lot of, um, use out of that, I find it good, of giving you pointers and stuff, I, you can, you're always learning, if you, the day you say, oh, I don't need no one to tell me how to ride a bike, well, I don't need no one to tell me this. That's the day when you stop wanting to learn something. That's that's when dangers catch you. You always got to be learning stuff. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Fucking riding riding motorcycles is dangerous. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think it's 60% more likely to have a crash in, in a car or and die from it. You know, you've got no protection. You you come off. You're at the mercy of what stops you. But at the same time, like, you can't just go around going, oh, I'm not going to run a motorcycle because that's dangerous. And you've got to live life and you just got to take it in and, and know the risks. And I don't sit riding the whole time thinking about something jumping out at me. It could happen. All I've been sort of the only sort of thing I've, I've gotten out of these videos, these safety videos, is the fact that be prepared for the underprepared. If a kangaroo jumps out at you, do not swerve. You're better off embracing the embracing for the impact and seeing how you fare up out of that. Because if you swerve and you still hit the kangaroo, you're just gonna go skip them down the road. There's a good chance you are if you hit a kangaroo anyway. But at least if you're on the brakes and it's about progressive braking, not slamming the brakes on. Progressive braking is what one of the things this guy down the fireman points out because a lot of bikes don't have ABS. I'm, I'm lucky in the fact that two of the bikes I go a lot of riding on do have ABS. But it's about, you know, it's, it's more dangerous riding out in, in suburbia in traffic than it is riding out in the country. You know, there is kangaroos, there is sheep, there's stuff that can run out in front of you. Uh, and that is dangerous. Um, unfortunately, your brain, if it sees a kangaroo jumping out of here, you're going to try and avoid it. Um, it's okay if the kangaroo is like hopping away, you can sort of on a bike, you can sort of position yourself a bit better to, to get around it. Um, but the worst thing you can do is uh, swerve to try and avoid hitting it. If you're going to hit it, you're going to hit it. You need to be aware of that, and just like now, that guy in that four-wheel drive fucking wandered over to the side of the road. But people do stupid things, people make mistakes. You've got to, you, you've got to look out for it, and it's more important to be in the right, but be safe, but than to be in the right and get killed. You know, and what I mean by that is, if a car's on your side of the road and you're going to go, well you're on the wrong side of the road dickhead, what are we doing? And just stay there and die, that's the end of the game isn't it? But if someone's on the wrong side of the road and you go, oh fuck, I don't want to die, I'm just going to move myself out of the fucking way because this dumbass is fucking going to kill me. And be smart. Yeah, yeah.
Uh, we just had something to eat and some petrol. Well, we didn't have some petrol to eat, but we had something to eat and then we got some petrol. And we're good to go. <clears throat> we're just discussing a um, another camping trip. So that's on the cards, Northern Woody. If anyone wants to come along, leave a comment on the video and I will get in touch with you. And Messenger or something, you can contact me privately. Um, and yeah, more the merrier. As long as you're happy to put up with stopping to get drone footage and all that sort of rubbish. You know, that's what I do. Stop and do videos. Part of it. I don't know whether we're going to have to drain up today. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't even going to sure this was going to end up being a vlog vlog because I didn't really know what we were doing or stuff like that. towards Angerston now
a nice little falcon in there, the yellow one. Well, I'm an XL. Oh, I think his was an XM. XM for me. Um, that was our family car for a long, 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 long time. We went to Melbourne in it. And then Mark, a few other places. Thank you.